In the previous lecture, we have talked about branches. And you know that you can create multiple branches in a single Git repository. Also, you know that you can create many, many different commits in your project. And more than that, in different branches, you can create different commits. And uh, at the moment, you may have only single, let's say, version or snapshot of your project in your working directory. And now question. Where Git stores information about current branch? How it knows which branch is current? From the previous lecture, you know that every branch is actually just pointer to a specific commit. And this pointer does not change if you don't make any new commits inside of specific branch. And at the moment, our current branch master points to second commit. And if we look again at contents of the master file located in this folder, we will find SHA-1 hash of the second commit. Again, in your case, you'll see here completely different SHA-1 hash. But commit will be second commit. But we may have multiple branches and here inside of this file, you don't see anywhere that this branch is current. So, back to the question, how Git understands that master branch is current branch? That's where head is used. Head is just pointer to specific branch or specific commit. And head may be only one. There may be multiple branches, multiple commits, but head is always one. It is a pointer to current snapshot of your project. Let's discuss properties of the head in details. Ok, so head is just reference to the currently checked out branch or commit. First, head is locally significant. It means that if you work in distributed project and you host your project on GitHub, for example, you can move head as you want. It will be moved only locally in your project on your computer. It will not affect in some way remote repository or remote developers. It is locally significant. Next, git stores this pointer in a file called head in the root of the .git folder. If I'll go to finder and go inside of the .git folder, you'll see this file here, head, all capital letters. Next, default pointer is ref colon refs slash heads slash master. And this path is already familiar to you. Refs has master. This file stores pointer to last commit inside of master branch, default master branch. Let's actually have a look at this file ourselves. Let's go to command line. Let's clear terminal. Let's cd to level apps like this. And now we're located in .git folder. And let's list files here, ls-la. And here we see this head file. Let's have a look at contents of this file. Cut, head, enter. And here we see just one string. Ref colon refs slash heads slash master. And if I'll again look at contents of this file, let's copy this path, cut and paste copied path, enter. We see SHA-1 hash of our second commit. And that means that head in our case at the moment is just pointer to master branch. And master branch points to second commit. That's all. In the next lecture, we will create one more commit. Master branch pointer will move to this new commit and head will move, of course, along with master branch. Because contents of head file will not change. It still points to refs heads master file. That's our default contents of the head file. Ok, let's go back to those points. Next, you can easily change position of the head and you can point it either to specific branch or specific commit. If you want to point head to specific branch, you should use command git checkout and name of the branch. For example, git checkout new branch. And if you want to get back to master branch, you will use git checkout master. You can also move head to specific commit instead of branch. For that, you should use same command git checkout, but now with SHA-1 hash of specific commit. And that means that uh, you are able to move head, for example, to this first commit. 
and after checking out specific commit, head will point directly to commit, like this. Master will still point to this second commit, but head will point to this first commit. And we will try that of course later on. Now let's move on and next let's create one more commit and observe changes in our project. I'll see you in the next lecture, but please keep in mind all those points regarding head. I'll see you in a moment. Bye-bye.